first place on the line in the Big Ten, and you said it, still early on in the season. For the game of the year to this point in the conference, Michigan State at Maryland with the latest AP rankings out today. A top 15 matchup. First place on the line, it is Nick Ward to jump it against Bruno Fernando. McCoy tries. That's time he got it. In a hurry, Henry brings this place alive. Again, Brown off of the bench, can't even throw. So far, Maryland below 30%. Goings fires away and knocks it down. And a 15 2 run for Michigan State. So Wiggins will try it and knock it down. In and out to Wiggins, long rebound picked up by McQuaid. Winston finding Henry, who fed it off to Tillman. And that is as pretty as it gets for the team that leads the country in assists. Stein into the floor, Goins, shoving it off for Winston. Here come the Spartans. Cassius Winston finds an open kicker. He's got his second bucket. And an I know Michigan State run. Drops a timeout for Mark Turgeon. Winston for Goins. There's the mid range jumper. Winston Kirby getting to the old man one. Cassius Winston with a chance for three. points and eight rebounds for the fifth year senior. Fernando tips it to keep it alive. Ayala now penetrates and gets blocked from behind. That starts a fast break where the Spartans have dominated tonight. Henry for two more. Wow, Marcel got mugged. Tillman was over to reject it. Winston behind the back, into the lane. Oh! Thing. Michigan State just keeps on rolling. 17 and 2, 8 and 0 in conference play, and a 20th consecutive Big Ten win for Tom Izzo and the Spartans. A well-oiled machine, Joe. They're hitting on all cylinders. Ever since I was young and before I was born, my dad's been a uh, basketball coach. He played uh, basketball in college at uh, Akron. So uh, I've definitely, I've grown up in a lot of NBA arenas. I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, and he was uh, assistant coach there for a few months. And then we actually moved to uh, Portland, Oregon, uh, where my dad took uh, his first NBA job. He started off kind of working in the back. He was uh, a little bit of a video guy, just doing whatever, and uh, eventually worked his way up to the assistant coaching job at with the Portland Trail Blazers. Basketball was something I was always around. You know, it was something I kind of fell in love with at a real early age. And um, you know, after every game, they'd, the lights would be off and they'd lower the rims down to about three feet or whatever they'd been down to. And that was when I was, I mean, real little. So that was when the first time I had really started shooting. I'd pick him up from school and take him uh, to the gym. He was a ball boy at really every NBA stop that I had. Uh, I'd get him straight out of school, try to feed him on the way, take him with me four hours before the game, and he was pretty much in the arena, just turned him loose uh, from training rooms to locker rooms to coaches' meetings to being around uh, some of the best players in the world. He saw how much fun the guys had. He saw the facilities. He saw probably the crowds. Uh, you know, he got to meet guys and players and coaches that he'd see on TV once he got a little bit older and realized who they were. In Philadelphia, I got to see the kind of ending years of Allen Iverson uh, there and got to know him. And, it, you know, it was just, it was fun growing up with, uh, growing up with your, your role models and the famous athletes right uh, behind you. So it was fun. Stir him up. Spin around. 
I'm Cody Milan, number 23, senior in the hockey team. Uh, this is day in the life. It's one of my favorite parts of the day right here. Gotta have the coffee. Going to class, you know, I like to look nice, like to dress up. I think it's pretty cool to, uh, you know, show off your personality a little bit. Um, and you know you gotta start with shoes. There's some Air Forces right here. Really like these, but it's kind of a crappy day out, so we'll see. Got the CDG Converses. Might have to go with these, match with the black sweatshirt. Um, these are pretty cool, the red bottoms, the Christian Louboutins. I don't know about those. I think they're a little too nice for today. Got some uh, Timberlux Chelsea boots. Um, these are really cool. I really like these. My dad got these for Christmas for me. I don't know. I think I'm just going to risk it. You know, it's a bad day out. I'm going to go with the all white Air Forces. Let's do it. So today we're going to be throwing a good amount of material at y'all. Anecdotal evidence, it's kind of like what Nexi said. You have to kind of take, like, take it with a grain of salt. Like this one time, there are plenty of times where you can hear a story where it might either cooperate or might go against what a stereotype that you know of. So just be cognizant of your positionality and, you know, I think, again, it kind of goes back to a lot of it is privileges. What privileges might you have? Because everyone has privileges to a different capacity in different spaces and so. I think that people can really understand discrimination, but I don't think everyone can like feel it, like feel like how the other person would feel that was being discriminated against, but I think that people can definitely understand it. So I just got done with class. Uh, me and Oz had some engaging conversations in there with the teachers. Uh, it was pretty beneficial, pretty educational, and feeling pretty hungry, so we're gonna get some lunch right now, so let's go. I had originally uh, coached in Philadelphia prior to coming to Detroit and uh, knew I was going to make the change. Um, I believe he's in seventh grade then. Um, it's tough, you know, changing schools really at any age. I just wanted to make sure I had him settled uh, by his high school years. I kind of promised him that. So I went and I just looked at some of the programs around. I wanted to live somewhere near the palace where the Pistons played at the time. I went around and actually watched some practices, watched some games. Uh, you always want to put your, your son or really any player with the best coach or best program possible and you know I stumbled upon Clarkston. That was the biggest move for me you know I had moved a lot uh, prior to then but I was always really young um, so that was kind of the hardest move uh, for myself and I'm sure the rest of my family but you know it was, it was a pretty smooth transition. You know after about a seventh eighth grade year you could kind of tell uh, he was going to figure it out pretty quickly and um, started taking him to the high school open gyms as probably an eighth grader and just dropping him off. Uh, I'd stay and watch some. Um, he just kind of fit right in. Coach Fife was great to him. Um, just from day one, I remember going to his first ninth grade scr uh, scrimmage when they started playing. He was a starting point guard. So Coach Fife just threw him out there, believed in him. I had the confidence in him and it just kind of went from there. Going into my junior year, you know, I, I really buckled down and f decided that, you know, that was the state championship. I, like, I really wanted to win one. And uh, we were going to, our team and myself, we were going to do everything that we could do to put us in that position. I'll tell you what, Foster Lawyer is so dangerous when he turns that corner. Wow. That's why. My junior year, um, playing Xavier in the state championship, things like that, you know, that was, that was a really special moment. Um, not only to win our uh, first, my first state championship, but Coach Fife's first state championship uh, at Clarkson. And then my senior year, you know, 
repeating off that, you know, we always had that target on our back. You know, we had to come out there and perform our best each and every night. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was a heck of a ride uh, through those state tournament games. My freshman year, I started talking to kind of the coaches here at MSU, and they uh, expressed interest and stuff like that. And then um, they decided to offer me. That was really important to me, um, just because, you know, it kind of showed that my hard work had been paying off. I think he wanted to, you know, play in the Big Ten. Um, of course, as a parent, you'd like to be able to see your, your, your kid play and for something to be an hour, hour and a half away, um, to be able to go see the games. It was kind of a no-brainer if that's where he wanted to go. I thought Michigan State was going to be the best fit for me. Um, you know, I, I loved it here, and uh, it, was, it was close enough to home so that my parents could go, come and see every game. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it was far enough away just to kind of be on my own. I've known Coach Izzo for a long time. I knew him when he was an assistant here at Michigan State because I was an assistant at Cincinnati and, and just followed him from afar and um, always been, even when we played against him when I was at Cincinnati, uh, how hard they play, how together their team is. And, and then once they started recruiting him, uh, being around, coming to a lot of the games, football games, just seeing him, the family atmosphere. And they loved the team, loved the community, uh, came back and just to see all the Michigan State players come back and, and, and you know, embrace being a Spartan, just uh, kind of made him feel at home and that's where he chose to go. So now that I'm playing here, you know, every home game, I'm here every day. It's fun to look back and kind of uh, remember what we did in high school, but um, at the same time, you know, just to be able to come here each and every day and uh, put in the hard work that we do, it's, it's fun. Thirteen, the original Italian. Uh, gonna get it Mike's way. Comes with like a oil and seasoning, lettuce, tomato. I'm gonna go no onion though. Not a big onion guy. Pretty good place to eat. No. Hey, what's up? My time has come. We got my roommate over here. Number four, Anthony Scarcella, a junior defenseman. What's going on, guys? Um, call him Scars or Scarcy. Big cook, big cyclist, and fun fact, this guy's been my best friend since uh, seventh grade. What'd you say? The big leagues. Yeah. Dana Life and the radio show. Have um, Jeff Scars tell you a joke. He's funny guy. So I don't think a lot of people even realize like how close me and Scars actually are. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, guys get here, like the freshmen come in, they're like, oh, like Scars and Miles, like good buddies. Like, and people don't realize that we go back through like seventh grade, like middle school, I high school together, and now we're in college together. Yeah, people, when people start seeing pictures yeah. of like how young we actually looked, that's the biggest thing. Or like when we're like, when we go home for Christmas, I mean, our family spend Christmas Eve together, like people are like, wow. It's the first of two meetings between the Spartans and the Wolverines, and today the site is the Chrysler Center, where they're expecting a sellout to witness Michigan State and Michigan. This is an all-time series that the Spartans have dominated. They've only lost 19 games total. Michigan State has also won five of the last six meetings against the Wolverines, and Michigan State, in four of the last five years, has ended Michigan's Big Ten tournament run. So we are ready for basketball. Gaines passes out of a double-team trap and gets it back to McCutcheon. Then to Marjorie Cook, lets a three fly. Got it! Hit nothing but the nylon. Still looking here. And then tosses to Gaines, who puts up a three ball and rattles it in. Michigan State, final their touch from downtown. Cauley crosses over with three, goes to the rack, scoops it up and in to close the first quarter. What a slicing take by Shea Cauley to give the Spartans a five point lead. 10 seconds to shoot, McCutcheon drives and kicks beyond the arc. Five, Cauley topside three, bang! MSU is eight of 15 from behind the three point line of the first half. Cauley right wing. Post Allen kicks out to game. Right wing three. Book it right as the shot clock expires. Touching into Allen. Makes the catch and bangs it off the window and in. What a miraculous pass by Taryn McCutcheon. Under five to play in the ball game. Michigan State up 63-56. Cauley into Marjorie Cook. Steps in from the free throw line. Lays it up and in and draws the foul. 
the buzzer sounds, and it's a victory for MSU. They defeat the Wolverines. 77-73, they win in this battle for the sixth time out of the last seven meetings. You got that beautiful boy with the kind of thing that comes so natural. No, baby, don't ever change. None of these guys have any idea what's no going on right now. No idea the camera's in here. No way. I don't think he's doing this, man. I think he <laughs> does it. He's lucky to sit by me. Another Goofus Award winner. Yeah, I know. Another Goofus Award winner. We have a lot of inside jokes. A lot of times he'll come in and start screaming at me. I'm gonna open up for one tee. Good job, Lil. Yeah, you got that one, Miles. I hope. I hope they got it. Here with Sam Saliba. Hey, what's up, boys and girls? Coach is talking, we're not listening. <laughs> Sir, Dad. What's up, Lineys? Former Lineys. How do you feel today? I am so hot today. Smitty's legs are burning right now. <laughs> His quads are on fire. Oh, nice save. Go green on three. One, two, three. Go green. Three sets of five dumbbell rows. We're joined by Cody Milan now for the Danton Cole Show. Cody, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Glad to be here. 12 points in the first two seasons. You exploded for 21 points last year, 15 so far this year. More to come, obviously. What's been the biggest difference? I just tried to work on, like, the mental part of my game, um, trying to stay confident. Um, I think that was a big part. And uh, I think I've done a pretty good job. Take us into the locker room after the game on Sunday. What were you guys like? Obviously, you got to sing the fight song again. Yeah. That'd be pretty exciting for yeah, you. Yeah, no, it was it was uh, electric. I mean, guys were guys were really pumped up, and you know, it's awesome to sing that fight song after, especially after a sweep. All right, I just finished the radio show. Uh, it's been a fun day. Went to class, went to practice, went to lift, and now I'm gonna go back and probably hang out, listen to some tunes, and then hit the hay. Foster came in here um, at about 153 pounds, um, so not only small but very slight. And to his credit, I think he's worked his way up to about 166, 67 pounds. And as we say every day, you know, his high school coach felt this way, his dad probably feels this way. You know, what he has to learn to overcome size or strength or quickness or the different obstacles that. Uh, especially guards have to uh, take upon themselves. He figures it out. You know, coming in uh, and playing with a great point guard like Cassius, you know, I knew I was going to have uh, my work cut out for me. And, um, you know, I think it's just, it's been a transition to kind of be able to find your role and uh, do everything you can. Um, but, you know, each and every day at practice, you know, I have an opportunity to prove uh, to myself, to prove to my teammates, my coaches, you know, that I can go out there and do my job and help this team win. He's an incredible shooter, and he's very smart with the ball. What he has to figure out is when he has more length on him, more quickness on him. How do you get around that, you know? I would say Cassius is probably the biggest person that uh, you know I talk to and learn from each and every day, you know, at practice and things like that. He's done a great job of help mentoring me to, you know, try to get where I want to go and try to get where I can uh, help this team as much as I can. But I would also say Matt McQuaid did a great job, you know, this summer, kind of taking me under his wing and uh, showing me the ropes of, you know, with the early 7 a.m. lifts and then um, just kind of the grind of the whole thing and the process that it was going to be on. The work ethic, the passion, the desire, the toughness, and the smarts, there's no question that uh, he's going to be a very good player before he's done.
there's no doubt, this is a very important game, and the crowd is ready no, for it. They sure are, you know. Both teams are playing at their best right now. You know, it's a quad one victory Absolutely. Uh, for either team. Last time these two teams played, Iowa was right with them and then went stone cold in the last five minutes of the half, and that was that. Yeah, right now, look at this. Iowa goes a little bit of it. Garza up against the clock. He'll pull it from the goal. Up there. Nice. Nice work by Cook on the offensive boards, and it's 2 0 Iowa. And an open shot for Goins after the extra pass was made by Aaron Henry. Winston gets right past McCaffrey. Count it. And a foul. Orange. Nobody back. Boss. Nobody back. Yeah. And Warren gets an easy one. Good ball. Well, good ball. Fake the set. Down. Deep kick up the there. Nicholas, do not leave him bare. <gasps> Long rebound by Bear. Bo Hanno. Look out. The lid may come off now. And it's 35 to 31 at the break. Iowa defense yeah. stepping up big time. No question. Nice pass. Oh, how about that? Oh, they got everybody's attention with the bounce. Digging down, McQuaid comes out of there with it. Up to Winston. Count him. How about that? With, without Look Langford. at this run. Excuse me, Tim. Yep. Look at that. Right down the floor, as you mentioned. Oh. Tillman gets it to go. Winston. So the repair by the SK. Is that good shots? And he doesn't hit the rim. No tip. In to end, McQuay. There you go. Just the push, the spacing. It's a little more vintage Michigan State basketball. Now you got the on two the other way with Lawyer leading. Ward, yes, and one. How about that? Nice sound break. Whiz camp. That's a challenge shot. Yeah, for sure. And Goins brings it down with a quick outlet to Winston. Look at this numbers. One oh, more time. Pretty. That is so good. Well, that Boy. is impressive. Oh, that's a good pass, isn't it? He does that great. Side saddle, open look. Oh, yeah. Bingo! Bingo! Boy, that is good. And Tommy Izzo loved that sequence. 51 points this half for Michigan State. Well, that is incredible. Mm. That's an offensive showcase. Winston gets 23, 14 this half, and seven dimes dropped.